The Children's Hospital of Southwest Florida welcomes a new addition, a cooling device that has the ability to improve a newborn's quality of life. We find out more in today's Health Matters. When we want to preserve food, we place it in the refrigerator or freezer. When we're uncomfortable, we may turn down the air. And now, another cooling device is helping to reduce and prevent brain damage in newborns around southwest Florida. Therapeutic hypothermia is felt to be a, a neuroprotective intervention. Therapeutic whole body hypothermia is used when an infant is born with brain injuries. Let's say there's, a, there's problems at the time of delivery. Those brain cells that are damaged go through a period where they, there's a window of opportunity for treatment. To avoid and limit severe brain damage, the newborn is placed here and their body temperature is slowly lowered to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. The cooler temperatures have been proven to slow down the destruction of brain cells. It's basically a cooling blanket that's hooked up to a servo control mechanism. And, then, and you cool the whole body. We'll keep them at that temperature for a 72 hour period. After 72 hours, the baby's body temperature is slowly raised back to 98 degrees. Dr. Liu says without immediate action, an infant born with moderate or severe brain damage can have severe disabilities. The babies that are candidates for whole body hypothermia are babies who are sustained asphyxia. In other words, for uh, whatever reason, during the delivery process, uh, they are uh, subject to a period of hypoxia, in inadequate oxygen. Then those neurons, or the brain cells, will go on to have a particular progression of events that will lead to cell death, either immediately or delayed cell death. Increasing a baby's quality of life by decreasing their temperature. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. For every 1,000 births, two babies are born with some type of brain injury.